Hey dudes, initially I wanted to start with the roof, but today's a bit rainy and dumb, so I'm gonna do uh, little stuff on the outside. Uh, this thing had a problem with the furnace, the little clips came off here. They were these little kind of uh, push pin clips, but they're not too well made, but I, I have a little, little plan. But first thing I wanna do is take all the little goo tape stuff off the side. I got some of this uh, goo gone. Be gone, goo. They put a safety seal on it to make sure it's fresh in case you drink it. Now look how clean it is compared to the whole RV. This thing is disgusting. Now you can see we have this guy here. This little pop screw. It had little clips that used to sit in there. And then they would just pop in and you twist the screw and it'd release. But since it's old plastic, it just fell out. So I have a little little plan. Little plan, yeah. Uh it's in my bucket of tricks. Alright. I got what uh, these are called toggle bolts. And you're like, well, they're just gonna fall in. Uh, not necessarily. I'm gonna stick this guy. How these work, these work, these are really for like drywall or uh, just any sort of hollow wall wall kind of thing. There's, here's the hole. Oh. And then you twist it back out, and then you slide that thing forward, and it holds it in place. Ideally. But normally, what's going to happen is it's going to hold it in place just up until you put that bolt in, and then that's supposed to just stay there forever. And when you take this screw out, this dude will normally just fall right inside the wall. So it's kind of a permanent thing. So what I had to do... Use the old brain. It's not a very well organized video. I don't have any. Uh, all right. What I'm gonna do? Put that guy in there. Washer, nut. That thing sticking off. That'll stick out of the door when the door closes. And then I just have some standard wing nuts. And you're like, dude, that's gonna be just sticking out for anyone's arm to just clip on. But I got a plan for that too. We'll just have to wait till we get to it. Our business set up. Yeah, the stupid nylon one, so I have to find a way to just break through the nylon. I'm not going to be held back by nylons. If my daughter was here, she'd be pissed, because I always yell at her about not protecting the table when she does her little art projects. But did she buy the RV? No, I did. So I can do whatever I want. Taking orders from a child. All right. These little dudes are nice because they're just going to go right in the hole. Now they're set up in there. Slide this guy right on there. And then it falls completely through the other side. Uh, I had to take a little break because I had to go pick someone up. Uh, but we're going to knock this thing out. Miss Julie, if you could take the tape off there for me, please. Alright, as you remember, I had this little operation here. Uh, but the plastic bit broke off. Is there a little wrench over there, too? Should be right there on the floor in the bucket. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to go in like this. The plastic will be here, and then this will hit right in the back, so that way the washer will hold it in place. Miss Julia, uh, if you come around here, please. Here, if you hold that right up in there. Put your little finger on the back of it. And that just goes right up in there. Hold, it, hold her tight. Alright, now take the drill and tighten that a little bit. Other way, other way. You're going reverse. Alright, you get the plastic off the back and you're locked in there.
Down here at the bottom, we have these things. We got to get those guys off there. Basically, it's got this little set, this little cotter pin thing. Uh, crunch it down. And then once you crunch it down, you can get behind it and you cut that thing and it'll fall right through. Well, Miss Julie attends to that, I'm going to get a wing nut. Now you're right here and you're like, oh no, that'll never get through. Uh, as you can see, the screws are a little long for what I need them to do. Uh, so I'm going to chop these down and uh, hopefully I got enough power on the batteries to use the grinder, so we'll see. So you got the bolt sticking out. It's always a bit difficult to get something threaded when you just cut it with a cutting wheel. So you got to be careful to get that on there square. Um, well that was our goal was to get one thing off the list and it was to make that thing look less hillbilly and so far do you think we did good? Yeah. While I'm up here I thought I'd go ahead and cut this guy off. Easy. All right, uh, this next bit is pretty straightforward. Um, I just got these stainless steel screws, uh, and they're just gonna go put a bunch of silicone on the screw and inside the hole first, and and then wipe off the ex excess. But these are a bit fatter than what's up there now. Even the ones that are secured now, I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and replace these with bigger screws. Also, I want to show you one quick thing. Uh, this I thought everyone already knew, but people aren't known understanding caulking guns. But not all caulking guns are created equal. Uh, this is, doesn't look like much, but this is really all you need right here. You want this guy here on the end, bing bing, and this dude right there. Sometimes they sell caulking guns without those. And uh, why? Because then now you have all these extra tools. Why do we need this thing here? Uh, you take the thing off, and you decide as big of a hole you want. Pow! What is this thing for? Clam. There's a little seal in the inside, but not anymore. I didn't cut it off very well. But you know what I can do? Just put it back in there and do it right this time. I was showing off for the camera so I didn't do it all well. Try to fill it up as much as I can with caulk with silicone. All right, I'm going to fill the screw hole up first. And I'm going to coat the screw. Just seal it all in real well. And that's set up there real nice now. Yeah, it's not very pretty, but it's sealed up. <laughs> 